Good morning, everyone. This is my version of Gavin's Friday vlog. Today, I thought I would talk to you guys a little bit about building relationships and how important that can be, not only for culture, but for team dynamic, department dynamic, and company dynamic. There are so many opportunities that we come across every day where we can build relationships with people, even in the smallest of ways. Um, recently, the data team has had a really great opportunity to do a lot of work with research. Now, now that we're on the north side of the street, right, we're over in biotech, when we're on the south side of the street building relationships, I feel like it was a lot easier. You came in contact with a lot more people, you walked through the front counter, there was, there was constant interaction with people, you got to see a lot more people on a daily basis. Well, now that we're on the north side of the street, it's more of an effort on our part. So I know for myself, um, I work really hard to try and build relationships, not only inside of the entire data team, but within the tech team and then within the entire business. And some of the benefits we have seen from that is um, better, clearer communication. People specifically in research where they have not had, um, they've been kind of the, the lone survivors here on the north side of the road for many, many years. And when we moved over here, they mentioned to us, man, it's a big effort. You gotta walk across the street. You gotta have a lot of meetings. Um, but we're trying really hard to get research to come over here and to get other parts of the business to come to our side of the street. So I'm sharing all of that because we've had a great opportunity to work with research in the last year, and it's really helped to break down some silos with them. Um, they're more apt to ask questions of us to see if we would be a good fit and a good resource for um, any of the needs that they have for upcoming projects. They've been more apt to bounce ideas off of us. Um, even if it's something that they don't think that we'll be working on, they've been really good about asking a lot of questions. And that is mainly because people on the tech team have worked really hard to make sure that we are doing everything we can to bring um, everyone onto Team Bex. Not just Team Tech, not just Data Team, but Team Bex. The BPOs have really helped solidify a lot of those um, silos being breaking, broken down. Um, there's been a lot of fun interactions that we've had with our friends over at research. Um, another opportunity to get to know people is that marketing has moved from the south side to the north side and they have joined our neighborhood over here in biotech. And they've really been over here about a week, maybe a week and a half, and it's been really great. Um, I've been able to personally meet a couple different people. Um, I've already heard about one person who, we've all been there, has already walked into the glass door on her office, so that's a lot of fun. I won't name any names, but I got to tell them the story about how when that happened here, Don and Alex bought, um, they bought little ghost stickers and we stuck them on each of our doors because some people were used to walking in on the right side of the office or the left side of the office and the door was on the opposite side coffee was getting spilled, people were running into the glass. It was a lot of good fun. So um, that's how we solved it, but they are very busy decorating each of their offices to make them more creative and more unique and to more fully speak to what they do at Bex and how they see the world and how they feel. So I thought today I would take you guys on just a quick tour of some of the changes in some of the offices that have happened so that if you come over here to the north side or you come to Atlanta and visit, um, you will be able to recognize some of these areas and people, um, see how we are building relationships and breaking down silos here in our own new neighborhood across the street on the south side and to our neighbors across the parking lot, um, as well as the people who are remote and who work at different facilities. Um, we're trying to reach out to as many people as we can. So let's go on a tour. If I can figure out how to turn this around, that's going to be the big problem, isn't it? Okay, I'm turning the camera around. All right, so this is the um, think tank that we still have. It's not completely put together yet, but Dave Donovan's working really hard to get this put together. Yesterday, we had Colin in here and he was able to um, work pretty effectively in here and get to see some of us as well. Right now, marketing is having a meeting over here in the hopper room. I'm going to show you guys this because they fully made themselves at home. Maggie's on the floor. It's going to be a good meeting, you can tell. All 
All right, so these are some of the offices that I wanted to show you. I love that their personalities are totally just coming together. All right, so over here we've got, look at this. We've got Hannah. She's got a sign up that says, believe in yourself. And she's got this huge wall of ivy in these live plants. I mean, guys, these guys have been here like a week and they've done more to their offices than we did in a year and a half. Then over here, we've got Kate. Kate's got some awesome lights up here. It's my new friend, Kate. Kate works with Kyle Dickover, for those of you that know Kyle. And then their big think tank, she doesn't know I'm doing this, but this is Mish. And Mish looks like she's sorting some kind of photographs. <laughs> and Mish is a tea drinker. So her and I have bonded over tea and um, I've given her all the kind of hints and tips and tricks for working the teapot here. Don't scald yourself because it's really very hot. Um, that's the big one. So these are just some of the changes that have come along with marketing, um, coming to our side of the road and being in our neighborhood now. So I hope that was helpful to you guys. When you come in, um, please make sure to say hi and kind of get to know these guys. They're gonna be um, a great resource for us to tap into and also for them to tap into us. So I hope that was a fun little Friday vlog for you. Um, as always, have a great weekend. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us and we'll help you any way we can. Bye.